I'm Noah Rosenberg, the founder, CEO, and editor-in-chief of Narratively, and an alum of the Townite Center for Entrepreneurial Journalism Fellowship uh, here at CUNY. I'm sitting here with Sami Mahdi, uh, who is a vice president of Pike, which is a really fascinating media company based in Kabul, Afghanistan. Um, Sami, just wanted to start with with you giving our viewers just um, an overview of what is Pike. Uh, you know, I know a bit about it. Uh, obviously, you're operating in a very fascinating, important part of the world. What do you do? Actually, we are the first um, investigative journalism center in Afghanistan, and we are dedicated to report uh, on the very crucial issues which are important for the life of citizens in Afghanistan. Obviously, operating a media company in this day and age is, is a challenge, uh, even under best circumstances. In the U.S., you know, we're focused on uh, figuring out the next business model and where the revenue stream is coming from, how you keep the lights on. I'd imagine that in a place like Afghanistan, which of course has its uh, well-publicized challenges, um, there are even bigger hurdles that you need to surmount to produce the, the high quality content that you guys do. Um, tell me a bit about those challenges and how do you overcome them? The severe challenge we are facing is security itself. Uh, more than 15 journalists have been killed in the last 13 years. When you have grown up with security challenges, you take it like it has been there. Let's not think about that so much. Let's not uh, let it to mm -hmm. uh, prevent us from what we are supposed to do and uh, what are our... Focus opinions. on the work. Yeah, focus on the work and just focus on uh, the best you can do. 13 years ago, it was forbidden mm. to have, to own a TV wow. at your house. Now we have more than 50 TV stations in Afghanistan, hundreds of radio, radio stations and uh, hundreds of uh, publications and newspapers. Uh, this, you know, revolution of uh, freedom of expression and freedom of access to information has uh, made us uh, the leader of uh, uh, freedom of expression in the, in the region. You're operating in, in Kabul, in Afghanistan, you're telling these immensely important stories, you're taking risks to tell them, and yet you're getting this amazing recognition from well beyond your borders. What does that mean to you, and, and, and do you think the future of, of the free press in your country? I'm very optimistic about the future of free press in my country, because uh, our people, our journalists, had the courage to stand in very difficult time. Now, this award, uh, for Pike and for myself personally means that we are not forgotten. And the uh, uh, journalists around the, glo the globe, they care about freedom of expression and uh, access to information for ordinary citizens, you know, even in very dangerous uh, places sometimes sure. and uh, sometimes forgotten places. Mm -hmm. This is a source of uh, motivation for us. And uh, I thank uh, uh, Shane Smith himself, uh, the Vice and the Knight Foundation for uh, this great honor for us.